Fine. Fine. This must be the end. No. No. Look. Someone's been here before us. Get some plates. Anything there? What can you see? You won't believe it. It's wonderful. When we had passed through the little aperture, we found ourselves in a beautiful hall. that the paintings became more perfect as we advanced farther into the interior. This is incredible. Congratulations. Belzoni had discovered the tomb of Seti, the father of Ramesses the Great. Though, like Abu Simbel, empty of treasure, it's the most lavishly decorated and largest tomb in the Valley of the Kings. Through here. Come and look at this. Where Tutankhamun's tomb, discovered a hundred years later, is the size of a garage, this one is almost the length of St. Paul's Cathedral. My God! Look at that! What we found in the center of the saloon merits the most particular attention, not having its equal in the world. It's wonderful. It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. A sarcophagus of the finest oriental alabaster. I cannot give an adequate idea of this beautiful piece of antiquity. You can see right through it. Some fella, eh? Romandable all this. Quite a king. And now it will be known after you, Giovanni. This shall be the tomb that Giovanni Belzoni found. The greatest of them all. This was indeed to become known as Belzoni's tomb. And 3,096 years before, Ramesses himself looked for the last time upon the same sarcophagus, which then contained the remains of his father. For Ramesses' own rule had begun on this spot. Ramesses was to reign until he was 92 years old. He would go down in history as a heroic warrior. But it's less well known that 16 years after his famous battle at Kadesh, he signed a treaty with his enemies, the Hittites. It was the world's first recorded peace treaty between superpowers, and it brought great prosperity to Egypt. Ramesses' most lasting achievement contrary to the warlike propaganda on his temple walls, was as a bringer of peace. Belzoni recorded the tomb that he discovered in unprecedented detail.
And in May 1821, in London's Piccadilly, a reproduction of part of Belzoni's tomb was the centerpiece of an extraordinary exhibition celebrating the explorer's discoveries. I wanted to come to London with you. Belzoni became one of the most famous figures in London. And many of the artifacts that he collected did actually end up in the British Museum. Still today, its Egyptian galleries are dominated by the findings of this extraordinary man, the gentle giant from Padua.